everyone, it's Bargain Princess! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna quickly update you on my skins just because it's been about a little over two months now since I had those monstrous bees forming on my chin. As you can see, it's somewhat cleared up. My skin, especially on the outer part of my face, is a lot clearer, but I am still experiencing acne, one or two pimples on my chin and around my nose, but it's not as bad as before. Thank God. So I've been pretty consistent with my Axone prescription. I use it twice a day, morning and night, along with my skincare routine. It's pretty much still the same. If you haven't checked it out, I'll link it down below so you can be informed of how I properly take care of my skin. I still use my Clarisonic Mia only once a day, and that's at nighttime to remove all that gook and nastiness and all that makeup from my skin so it's nice and clean. So I must say, I've completely cut peanut butter out of my diet. It's very sad just because I love peanuts and they came out with this new like Oreo and Reese's cookie and it just looks amazing. Oh my god, because Reese's are like my favorite chocolate. I just love the way it melts in my mouth. Why am I talking about chocolate? Because I'm totally... <laughs> so anyways, peanuts, I completely check that out of my diet. I was going to get the almond butter, but why is almond butter so expensive? It ranges from like 11 to $15, and I'm still not sure if I want to make that splurge on something that's still a nut, but it doesn't contain as much oil as an actual peanut. It's a tree nut, so I don't know if I'm still gonna be sensitive to a tree nut just because that was a very traumatizing thing in my life. Just, no. But I have noticed, I have ventured out into a new daily thing. I make smoothies every morning for breakfast. This is my go-to bag of smoothies. It contains pineapple, mango, strawberries, and papaya. This is so good, mixed with a little banana and a little orange juice, and you blend it up, and it's just so good. But I'm convinced I can't even eat strawberries anymore just because it contains so much vitamin C and acid. I guess it's just so too much for sensitive acne prone skin is if you're sensitive to them causes a lot of breakouts around your mouth area and around your nose and hello I'm experiencing all of that do you see that dark spot and that's just because I'm still a pimple picker I, I don't even notice it it's that bad my boyfriend or my mom or whoever at that time that's around me that knows that I'm very ugh about my skin will be like Jenny stop picking your pimples and I'm like oh snap because I just don't realize that I'm pim pimping <laughs> Yeah, I'm pimping my pimples, that I'm picking my pimples. It's just such a bad habit. So that is it. I definitely want to thank you guys so much for all your helpful tips and suggestions. I definitely probably want to venture off now to the oil cleansing method just because it looks effective, it's natural, it's simple and easy to do. I mean, who knew oil and acne would go good together? So as far as the Axone, I'm still going to continue what I have left just because I paid for it. And it somewhat helped heal the skin. I'm just not impressed for a $700 cream. I just expect it no acne on my face after two months. Let me know. Do you guys even enjoy these skincare update videos? If you don't, then this will probably be the last one. But if you find this video helpful and informative, please comment down below or thumbs up this video and I'll keep these skincare update videos going. Just because if I know I'm helping at least one or two people out there, then this video is successful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for weekly videos, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye! <laughs> the best thing is it has a built-in mirror, and then wait for it.